Hi guys, welcome back to Wellness Wednesday. How's everyone doing? Hi, I picked a flower for you all. This beautiful little daisy. I love the simplicity of daisies. I just think they are so sweet and pure. I also um, have our little affirmation cards here. So let's go ahead and pick an affirmation for today. Hello, how's everyone doing? Hi, Michelle. Nice to see you. Okay, hold on. Let's pick an affirmation that is meant for all of us to hear today. Okay. I can heal anything by healing my beliefs first. I believe in myself and my abilities and I have unlimited potential when I trust in the universe and believe in me. That's a good one. Hi Mathilde. How are you guys? Someone's here as well from Israel. Hi. So I'm very excited today because we have Elle McPherson joining us. She's going to be, Elle is, um, she's a fellow Australian and she is a mother, she is a supermodel, she's a successful entrepreneur, she has her own business and is the co-founder of Wellco, which is plant-based beauty supplement um, and powders for skin and energy and health. And I've been loving her super elixir, which I have here, so I'm super excited to chat with Elle. I'm going to just connect her in. Um, she's going to talk about some little health and beauty tips. And let's go live with Elle. Let's find her here. Oh, there she is. Send her. Oh yeah, happy St. Patrick's Day, guys. I'm wearing green. Um, so hope you guys are all doing well. Let me see if Elle is going to join him. Elle. Okay, hold on. Elle. Elle. Let's see if she can join here. She says, oh, hi. someone says hi from Ireland. Hi. And there's Elle, she says she can't get in. Well, let's see here. Technology. I thought that Mercury was out of retrograde. Um, let's see here. Request Elle. Oh, it says Elle must upgrade her app to join. Do you hear that Elle? You have to upgrade your app to join. <laughs> Um, but you got you do lives all the time, Elle, I thought. Let me try. It says Elle must upgrade her app to join. I just got an alert on my end. I'm um, continuing to wait and be patient because she might be able to get in. While I'm here, I can answer some of your questions and chat with you guys this way. Um, will we do a meditation session? Well, not today, um, unless Elle wants to lead us through a meditation session. Someone says, hi from Jordan. Hi. Hi from Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia. Hello, hello. Elle says, I'm trying to get on. Let's see if she's updated. Definitely. Oh, hi. Hi, David. How you doing? I'll try and join Elle with us again. Maybe she's updated her app now. Elle is unable to join. Hmm. Interesting. Well, I have some great questions for Elle when she can connect with us. If you guys want to send me any other questions, we can, um, I can answer those while 
We're waiting for Elle. I think she's going to update her app. Oh, she said she's back here. Okay, hold on. There she is. Okay, I think it's going to work. She's... Oh, the... Yay! Oh! Sorry about that. Technology. So I haven't been like I've been away for the last three and a half weeks. So this is the first live I've done, and clearly I needed to upgrade my app. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what it told me. It was like you need to. Thank God you told me. Upgrade. Yeah. Thanks, guys, um, for waiting. I'm sorry to keep you, and I'm sorry to keep you, Miranda. Oh, don't be silly. It's fine. so good to see you. How's your so Flynn? You. Oh, so cute. Mm. He's ten now. What about okay. yours? He's 23. Oh, my goodness. First of all, I can't believe you have a 23-year-old. You look amazing. <laughs> and an 18-year-old. You're going to uh -huh. see it's the best thing. But, you know, it was really funny because I remember sitting with Flynn's, your Flynn's father. Yes. At, uh, at a dinner and asking him to sign something for my Flynn, who was That's a huge so fan. Cute. And he said, if I ever have a baby, I want to call him Flynn. And there you are, oh. you have your Flynn. I know, so, so sweet. It's good to I see you. How have you been? Very good, yeah. It's been uh, busy because I have two little boy, two baby boys, and then Flynn's my 10-year-old. Right. But I have a um, one-and-a-half-year-old and a two-and-a-half-year-old. Amazing. Uh, and you look incredible. I loved your CR. Um, fashion campaign that's out at the moment. It's, uh, it's isn't it the cover of a Japan CR? Mm -hmm. Yeah, fantastic. It's so yeah. good to see you like know, it's so good being a you. wife, being a mother, um, you know, working like you are, building your business, Cora. It's it's thank so you. great to see you doing so well. Oh, thank you. Well, you're the inspiration. I've just <laughs> looked up to you for many years and you were the, really the one, like the first person that I knew about that was in the industry that then created a business herself. Mm. Like it's such an incredible journey that you've been on and such an inspiration to me and so many people. Thank you. It's been, I've had a really interesting career, you know, it's been 40 years. I, I, I'm, I'm writing a book at the moment. So I'm wow, going that's back awesome. through, you know, the beginning of time. And, you know, it's been since 1982 when I first started modeling and, you know, and here I am through all these different iterations of, um, you know, modeling in Australia, modeling in America, TV commercials, runway, and then, you know, building Elle McPherson Intimates and, um, then Elle McPherson Body and and yeah. now Welco. It's been just an extraordinary journey, and it's been so. Lu I've been so lucky to be able to diversify in so many areas from film, television, business. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's been such um, such so much fun, and as I said, like inspiring for me to watch, and just the fact that you just got out there and you followed your passions, and I just think that that's what it's all about. And I mm. encourage so many people like young girls to do the same thing mm. and boys of course absolutely well that's what i said to my sons i say you know you really need to find what you love in life because if you yeah. find what you love and do it a you're going to be really good at it and b you're going to feel like you're not working and yes many people say to me wouldn't you like to retire now and it's like well i'm i love what i do so yeah. what you know it's not the end game isn't just to earn a lot of money and become well known you know for me every day is a beautiful journey and is a challenge and that's what inspires me and keeps me interested in my in my life you know it's not yeah. just work for an end it's not about you know that old saying the journey is the destination i guess yeah it is yeah. and it's so much fun every day to wake up and just be inspired like and to be excited as well by what you're doing and, mm. and to know that you can actually help people as well and having purposeful business or having purposeful life yes is one of the cornerstones of happiness yeah um, i agree yeah and you're very much into health as well and i'm all about health and health as wealth and i say that to people and they're like what do you mean i'm like well it just when you feel good and you feel energized and you take care of yourself, you basically can give so much more in every area of your life. Absolutely. And you can be more, you mm -hmm. can experience more and you can give more. 
Um, and I think, you know, when I think of health as wealth, it's like that wealth of capacity, potentiality. Yes. Um, and, and unless you've been very unwell in your life, I think people don't value what being well truly means to them until you're not well. And, and let me tell you, you know, then you, you'll, you really start to cherish wellness. Yeah. But um, for me, it's, it is, it's really actually, you know, we talk about it at Wellco as um, beauty through wellness. And that means that when you are well, you exude a certain sort of beauty. Not only do you have great skin because your cells are functioning well, your digestion is functioning well, your skin is in great shape uh, from the inside, but you have an aura about you, you have an energy, a vitality, a sense of vitality, a sense of willingness, courage, you know, courage that comes from feeling strong within, which comes mm -hmm. from being well, from yes. your body functioning well. Yeah. So it's so important because we know and we can tell all the people that are watching this that we know from our experience we've lived in a very two-dimensional world where you know if you look good in a magazine most people would think well yeah. that's great but we know that there's so much more to fulfillment in life than just a cover of a magazine which is two-dimensional and you know whether your face looks pretty and whether your body looks pretty there's you know, there's so much more that motivates us and inspires us than that. Yes. Um, and you need to be strong and well to achieve those things. Yeah. And balanced, like you were saying, with your energy. Yeah. And that is something I think we can all work on on a daily basis. Like, right. what can, like, I often think to myself, like, you know, what can I do today so that I know that I'll be able to give to my children, to be able to mm. give to my business? And one thing that I really love and I saw you do as well is you have celery juice in the morning. Yes. Yeah. I'm actually wheat grassing at the moment, but I, okay. I go through phases of celery juice. I know you're a big fan of um, the medical medium. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I eat pretty much his food and recipes. He's, yeah, he's definitely onto something there. And I've been through that whole celery thing. At the moment, I'm doing wheatgrass just because it is so nutrient dense um, and oxygen dense. So I do two ounces of wheatgrass, two, three, maybe even four times a day. Wow. Um, and you have to build up to it because it is an acquired taste and um, it really gives your a body, you know, a, okay. a big wake up call. Yeah. Um, <laughs> But starting the day as you mean to go on is a really um, good way to start for, for guys that are watching at home. I think if you, if you, if the first few things, you know, two or three steps you do in the morning sets the tone for the rest of the day. It really and, does. Yeah. And I've said to people along the way, if you mess up, don't write the whole day off. It's never too late to start again. So you can even go back to bed for a minute and go, okay, I'm actually going to start the day how I wanted to. I'm going to do a little bit of prayer and meditation. I'm going yeah. to drink some hot water and lemon and then have a celery juice or a wheatgrass or whatever it is that you want to do for your day. Yeah. It's so interesting because um, I've known that you've been into health and wellness, but I didn't even realize the extent of our similarities of things like that you're also into meditation and you love yoga. And I was like, mm. oh my goodness. And I watched one of your interviews and you were talking about all that. I was like, wow, we sound like very similar in our beliefs. I, I think that's Australian. You know, yeah. we're two Aussie girls. We have a deep connection to nature. Yes. That is part of our heritage. Yeah. Uh, a respect for the earth, a respect for ourselves. Yeah. Um, we know that sunlight, sunshine, great clean water, clean air, um, for, um, movement, is, yeah. um, peace, beauty, yeah. you know, the scenery from, you know, nature's beauty, yeah. um, connection to our friends and family. Those are the values that we hold so profoundly strong in Australia. Yes. And very you true. brought them with you to America and so have I. Yes. Which is amazing. Yeah. Did you move first to London or did you move to America? I moved to America okay. in 1983. I was modeling uh, 1982 in Australia 
and I moved here in 1983 by accident. I was only supposed to be here for a couple of weeks. And then I stayed in New York, and that was in New York City. So I stayed in New York for 12 years. I went to LA for two years, and then I moved to London for 17 years. Wow. And now I've been back in Florida for the last um, five, six years. So. And how, and you like it there in Florida? I love it. Wow. I really love it. And when I first moved here, everyone was like, how are you gonna go from London to Florida? Yes. You know, yes. and it's been such an interesting journey and one that I'm very grateful for. Um, first of all, the culture here is really interesting because there's so, you know, it is a very mixed culture. You know, in the area that I live, we have, you know, people from all around the world. Um, Which is great. And so it's not sort of like, uh, you know, I, it, it's, it's very multicultural. So I feel at home in that sense. I love the weather. It reminds me of Australia and the laid back attitude here. Uh -huh. My kids uh, went to school, to, uh, finished off their senior school here and, and are going to American universities. So um, being situated in America was really an educational choice in many ways. Yes. Um, and, you know, we've had a really, uh, a much more relaxed time during COVID as well. Mm -hmm. um, you know, lots of fresh air and lots of vitamin D and sunshine. And, um, and I think people here have coped very well through COVID because mm -hmm. of it. Yeah, the sunshine definitely helps. Yeah. Sometimes I will do a little meditation where I go outside and I put my palms up to the sun. Right. And just kind of focus on the sun, like energizing every cell of my body. Mm. And I find that such a rejuvenating way to reconnect to nature Absolutely. and just like to myself. And it's um, something that really helps. You, what type of meditations do you like to do? I like to do a whole lot of different ones. That sun one is a really wonderful one. I also do it early in the morning when the sun's rising. Yes. Um, and for me, it doesn't, it sort of comes up around seven here. So it's not like a five o'clock sunrise, thank goodness, or six, maybe 6.30. And I put uh, this third eye, which okay. goes back to your pineal gland. Yes. I keep my eyes closed and I do the rising of the sun. And okay. I just breathe in that energy. And then I see myself completely bathed in healing light, you know, mm -hmm. vitamin D and healing light. And, um, and so that's more of a, an ethereal type of meditation. But on a very practical sense, there's a wonderful app called Breathe. And you can kind of uh, go in and sort of um, focus on different areas of your life. Maybe you want to break addiction. Maybe you want more joy. Maybe you have problems sleeping. And so you can kind of um, pick and choose and then they'll curate a whole collection of meditations aimed at um, that particular thing that you would like to um, release if it's an energetic thing or like to energize. Um, I don't see solutions. I don't look at meditation as you do meditation for a solution. But I find with meditation, I often find solutions yes. um, uh, or answers to my questions. Yes. Have yeah. you learned TM meditation? I have, and I did it for a while, but I, you know, the discipline of stopping yeah. at three o'clock and doing every 20 minutes now. Yeah. There's an, another guy <laughs> called um, Paul Walsh Roberts, and he's, you can look at him on Instagram or you can go on to okay. Facebook. Uh, he does some really great meditations as well. So he's okay. somebody to watch. Okay, yeah. great. He's it's from New Zealand. Oh, Paul, so you it. said Paul Walsh. I'm Roberts. Roberts, okay, I'm gonna yeah. write it down. W-A-L-S-H-R-O-B-E-R-T-S. Okay. Okay, great. Um, I've just loved meditating and meditation for so long, like, Sometimes the Kundalini yoga teaching. I started, I learned how to do Kriya yoga um, meditation as well. What do you see as the benefits for the, for the guys that are listening? Because we all know that like meditation is a buzzword. Yeah, we need to do meditation. But how does it influence you in your life? I feel like for me, when I just take, even if it's five, 10 minutes to just do a little meditation and sometimes I'll go to the Insight Timer app and it's the same thing. They'll have different ones you can do for energy or for well-being, And I just do that. And afterwards I feel more energized or sometimes at night, if I can't sleep, mm. I'll put a very calming one on with my, with my earphone in one ear and the other one, or my earphone in this ear if I'm sleeping on this. 
side and then I just fall asleep because it helps just calm me down Mm. as opposed to thinking of oh have I done this have I got this organized for the kids have I got this part of my business sorted and blah 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 my mind I think it's really important in that sense in that exactly what you said with this running mind is that Mm -hmm. we can't see our reflection in running water and if we can't see our reflection we can't see where we need to grow or what what we don't we we can't really see ourselves and in order to be you know being self-aware is so important in creating the life that you want you know first of all you need to be aware of yourself aware of your purpose your dreams your aims your ambitions your strengths your weaknesses and the things that you're learning in life and when you can become aware of yourself you're more capable of making changes that you'd like to make in your in your life but you can't see that if you're so busy so finding that quiet time i think is really important for our own personal and spiritual growth as well and it really helps me like reconnect down into my heart so instead of being in that head space you go down to the heart space and we're moving into a world that is going to be heart centric moving forward. Oh, thank and goodness. That we're making decisions based on our heart, you know, yeah. joy and passion and authenticity and the things that really matter to you and freedom, autonomy. Yeah. Um, yeah. Those are the kind of the qualities that we're going to be looking forward as we move into the, the next, you know, period of time. Yeah. And you guys actually at Welco, you have a sleep tea right i haven't tried the tea but i've tried this this super elixir oh there's the tea see i need to try the tea so this is this is a uh this is a a caddy that is um a refillable caddy so you can buy the tea bags separately in a bag in a bags in a bag and then you um you fill up this beautiful caddy and you put it on your kitchen table but i this valerian hops um chamomile there's a whole bunch of wonderfully uh carefully curated herbs that are really uh, like medicinal quality um Mm -hmm. that you can take a one tea bag or two tea bags in tea before you go to bed Mm -hmm. and it's or even during the day if you're feeling really stressed and i know that during covid there have been a lot of people that have been anxious fear of the unknown and things are very different from what we expected and um people are getting really anxious. And so, you know, you can take this kind of tea in the middle of the day, you're not going to like pass out, but I use it for sleep yeah. uh, at the end of the day because I'm not anxious because I meditate and because I, um, and I stay focused on, you know, in my heart and the things that I love and yeah. I'm not, I'm not one to really um, run off to fear, but this no. is a great part of my three-step program. I actually have three things. Yeah. Guys, I take my greens first thing in the morning. Yeah. Um, so I is this the same te- one? The That's the same one. So I do two teaspoons in my in my bottle like this and shake. Um, it's leaking water at the moment. I have some and in here in my teacup. Oh, do you? Mm-hmm. Oh, that's what a good idea. They're so beautiful, those teacups. What a great oh. collaboration. Oh, that was so it's fun. So, it's so cool that you do that. I used yeah. to have tea with my, my, with my dad's mom. She oh. introduced me to tea and I grew up going to my Nana's house and I know you have your Nona, right? Yes. Yes. As my Nana. And I go to, used to go to her house and we would have the perfect teapot and teacup and have like English breakfast tea with sugar. And, um, it's such a good little ritual. Oh God. Growing up, it was part of my childhood. So I understand why you have that collaboration because it's very, same with me and my Nana. Very us. Yeah. So anyway, I start my day with greens. Yes. I have uh, this protein. I love chocolate. So I have protein powder, two teaspoons uh, in almond milk or oat milk or just water with an avocado. And that is a great snack uh, in the morning or in the afternoons if you're running low Mm -hmm. on blood sugar. Or sometimes there's a meal replacement if you know that you're going to have an early dinner and you want something to tide you over. It's, It's a kind of good um, lunch with a salad kind of thing. Mm. So having that kind of stability of a three-step program, you wake up, you take your greens, which is adaptogens, mushrooms, m- multivitamins, minerals, herbs. Pineapple. The pineapple in there tastes the good. Pineapple. Well, it's 45 ingredients. And wow. those ingredients are like your one and done. Take it and the foundation of your body is sorted. 
Um, it's extremely simple, extremely efficient, and very powerful. Um, so I take that to make sure I'm completely, my foundation is, is completely, um, yeah, nourished. Yeah. Then the protein, then the tea. Wow. Um, and you talk about being alkaline, right? right. And that's what this green powder does, alkalines. It, it really helps you. It helps with alkalinity. Now, why is alkalinity important? And um, I think for, for you guys watching at home, you can check into my friend, Dr. Will Cole, who's written a wonderful book uh, called The Inflammation Spectrum. And he also has another book out at the moment called Intuitive Fasting um, and Ketotarian. That's three of his great books. Uh, we know, uh, and Dr. Laubscher, who has um, helped uh, formulate the super elixir, one of the things that she drew attention to me, which I'd never heard of when I first met her, was the concept of inflammation in the body and being acidic and how inflammation is the root cause for most sicknesses, right. um, from arthritis to cancer. So, um, you know, if we can flood our bodies with more plants, um, reduce the amount of uh, animal proteins and dairy, and yep. grains, yep. Uh, get more sleep, drink more water, and eat more green vegetables. We have a real um, um, possibility of lowering our capacity of getting ill. And yes. it could be as, as simple as having muscle aches and pains or headaches or just not sleeping, which yes. are some of the um, things that are the symptoms of having a really acidic body. Yeah. Um, and of course, what you think and what you feel manifests itself also as acidity in your body. So keeping an alkaline body in the sense, keeping a plant-based diet, low in inflammation is a secret to long lasting health and beauty because when we are inflamed, our skin is inflamed, our systems are inflamed, it sh really shows. It shows on our face, it shows in our body. We start to put on weight, our face breaks out, our face can be red. Um, we don't heal. Uh, we find it really difficult to lose weight. You know, there's so many other things that happen when your body is, is inflamed. Yeah. So. And, um, do you, are you like a hundred percent plant-based? Cause I'm trying to be, but it's a little tricky cause I grew it, up eating meat. I grew it up. It is tricky. And also different people with different blood types. Um, yes. you know, like if you're an O blood type, usually you crave meat. You, you just do. I, I, it's, a, it's been an indication from, uh, you know, whether you believe in the blood type diet or not. If you ask anybody. I used to follow it a lot. <laughs> I'm, an, I'm an A. I'm an A positive. Well, see, you really should be totally yeah. plant-based because mm -hmm. as an A, that's what we're, we run well on. Yeah. So I, I, love, I feel best being yeah. plant-based. Me too. So at the moment, I'm raw vegan. Okay. And I'm quite strict at the moment. And I found some incredible, like the, th the areas where I was kind of going off veganism were things like butter and um, some cheeses and um, some dairy. Yep. And I found such incredible supplement, you know, um, substitutes. Like there's a really great vegan butter um, called Mykonos. I use that one. Oh, it's so I good. I isn't love it, it. Great? Oh my God. It tastes and delicious. The kids love it. it. It's, be it's better than, uh, it's better than cow's milk. So yeah. it's made from oat milk. And there's another one that is uh, a plant-based one, uh, another plant-based one. So that they have a wonderful feta cheese. And then I'm doing oat milk, making my own oat milk, making my own um, chia milk, making my own yeah. almond milk. Um, I tr eat a lot of sprouts. Uh, oh, good. I, sprouts so I do um, broccoli sprouts, pea sprouts, um, sunflower sprouts, and then uh, all the vegetables. Um, and I've been preparing a lot. So I'm really into my raw vegan diet. And there's a wonderful woman, if you are interested in raw veganism, called Dr. Sarah Siso. Okay. S A R A S I S O. S A R A Siso, yeah. Yeah, see so. And she has a three week back to health program that okay. is really interesting. She also is a huge fan of these greens, uh, even though she, her philosophy is that you can get all your nutrients from your foods. Mm. She still, um, she still is a big fan of the greens because it's a wonderful supplement because modern farming has really depleted a lot mm. of our soils from the nutrients that we used to be able to get when we were growing up in Australia. So we do yeah. need to supplement to yeah. some extent with something that is clean, 
that is easily absorbed into our body, yeah. that is sourced from the highest, um, you know, with the highest quality ingredients, great farms, is sustainable, um, like we were, we're working towards with Wilco. Yeah, that's amazing. And what about coffee? Do you... Oh God! Do Don't you talk do... to me about coffee. So <laughs> I'm, I, so I, I, I have a bit of a coffee addiction going. Have had. Um, I and plus my, um, you know, Cuban coffee here is just insane. It's yes. so good, uh, so bad for you, and so inflammatory, but so delicious. I have now kicked my coffee habit. I'm so proud of myself. Wow. And I prepare. Um, jars of fresh squeezed lemon and ginger fresh okay. squeezed ginger and i put in a cup of hot hot water like this already prepared sort of serum of lemon and ginger and that has taken away my coffee craving i wake up i crave the lemon and ginger now in the morning and i feel so energized with that and a wheatgrass that coffee pales in significance so wow. um replacing that has taken some time and finding something that made me feel as good as having coffee um took many years but it's, I, it's been so hard for me to say goodbye to coffee at the moment i'm trying dandelion oh well it's good and chicory is good too it's yeah. another one um there's a company that does uh, a really good one called bio coffee and it's okay. made from wheatgrass B-I-O coffee and it's really delicious and they okay. also have a hot chocolate um, that you can mix together uh, with moringa, moringa in it. Um, I don't know if you can get, get it in Australia but you can in America so those two um, really I'll try Bio well. coffee and then you said the lemon and ginger but how do you make that? So I get uh, a cup of say maybe two cups of uh, fresh squeezed lemon juice Okay. So I, I squeeze it with a lemon squeezer. Yeah. And then I get um, many thumbs of ginger, fresh ginger, always organic, yeah. always organic lemons. I wash the lemons, cut them in half, juice them and the ginger. And then you make like a, like a concentrate in a, in a jar like this big, maybe okay. even more. And then every day in the morning, it's already because in the morning you don't really feel like getting messy with ginger. You just pour in some of the concentrate into hot water. Okay. And there you have a, a lemon and ginger tea. And, and do you, you have honey it. with it? No honey. Okay. And I don't have honey in my diet. I use green stevia if I need some sweetening. What about uh, maple syrup? No maple syrup. No, just green stevia. I use coconut nectar sometimes in cooking. Okay. Uh, for, for, for sweetness. Okay. Um, but no, and I know there's a lot of um, wonderful things people are talking about. Propolis and honey at the moment. It's quite... Um, it's quite the thing, but I am doing pretty strict veganism at the moment. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. I feel different. I feel so much better. That's great. You know, like everything, I'm clearer thinking. Um, I'm more balanced. I'm happier. I'm, mm. I just I feel really different. Yeah, I can highly recommend. It's worth the effort. Yeah. Well, for me, just um, being plant-based and transitioning to that but I do believe in a balance and my husband eats meat so every yes. now and then I might you know have a bite of what he's having but I think everybody just needs to find you need to find what find works what for works. your life and for yeah. your family and it's yeah. not about being too zealot about anything I'm yeah. fortunate because you know this kind of way the eating really suits me and yeah. And my son doesn't eat with me, you know, because he's 18. Yeah. <laughs> the other one lives somewhere else. And so, and, you know, the friends that I have, most of them are plant-based anyway. So yeah. I don't have the conflict that, that when you're in a family dynamic, you have to be easy on yourself and gentle on yourself. Tricky, yeah. and respect that you just eat with love. You yeah. can't, there can be no sort of guilt when you're eating food because that is going to nourish your body and that's going to manifest itself in disease. So yeah make your choices and enjoy them that's what yeah. i say <laughs> i do think that there's something to be said about that like when you do make a choice you'll be like you just enjoy it and embrace it yeah even though you might not it might not be the most healthiest choice at that time but then you're like okay well i'm gonna make a healthy choice for lunch or for dinner and i think having a healthy attitude to the choices you make 
it's mm -hmm. it's is just as important you know yeah. than 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 uh, I, I mean look there is no doubt what you put in your mouth what yeah. gets digested in your stomach has a huge effect on everything your outside you know the way you look for people that are really interested in the way you look it really affects the way you look yeah um, and that's why I'm so passionate about ingestible beauty yeah um, plant-based you know um, beauty you know from the inside yeah. and um, not only does you know does it is it really wellness supporting but the beautiful byproduct is that it just it is reflected on the outside and so you know you look better and you feel better and for me that's a double winner yeah um, but what you think and what you feel is is also really important so if you feel like you're missing out because your husband's a meat eater and he's made an incredible steak <laughs> and you just want to sit with him and have a glass of wine and have a chat and have a laugh and have a steak that is just as important for your spirit Internet. sometimes yeah yes yeah and do you ever have a glass of wine i'm 17 years sober oh, so i've had great. i've had my fair share of glasses of wine uh, oh, and uh i i got sober in 2003 and um i haven't had any any drugs or alcohol since then so oh, wow, that's amazing and mm. i bet you feel it you feel really Good it's a it. way of life now. So uh, I'm just really grateful that I um, didn't um, go down the path that I was going down for too long. And, um, you know, I had an opportunity to reevaluate my life on every level, you know, emotionally, spiritually and physically. Absolutely. And um, and just, you know, decide to do things differently. Yeah. And it's been so rewarding. I just yeah. couldn't imagine had I kind of maintain the path that I was um was in it you know inadvertently taking yes that's amazing and by mm. the way your hair is incredible do you have any tips for us I for actually hair? I've got to tell you I actually did my hair for you today it looks good <laughs> <laughs> that's how much I respect you because I've, I've not done hair for so long but oh, I did it looks beautiful um but listen uh again Taking my greens is really, that was the first thing that I noticed was the hair, skin and nails. Um, yes. When you nourish your body properly, and you know that too. I know you've spoken about that before. Yeah. So I, um, that's really important. So start from the inside. Yeah. And then I do, I switch my shampoos around. And yeah. uh, there's, Whole Foods have a really great organic vegan um, uh line called seaweed i think it's so i use okay. that sometimes yeah. or if i want to go for something more luxurious i love orbe's um shampoos yeah. and conditioners for texture i'm i go back to the old bumble and bumble like sea spray oh yeah that's, that's one great. Is for me um and who else does really oh sam mcknight in london has some wonderful products uh like the cool girl spray uh, is really good as sort of like a dry shampoo. And, oh, I love um, Sam. Yeah, he's and he's he's re and the smell is incredible, guys. Because we all know that the hair yes. things, it's all about the smell. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> nothing true. worse than having hair that looks great but smells terrible. Oh, I know. So, um, so yeah, start from the inside with how you nourish yourself. Yeah, find good organic products if you can, uh, because you know, and you've been such a great. Um, advocate for you know organics yeah. i'm loving this by the way oh, the good. milking mushroom how good Isn't is it that great oh, I, mean, I love it it's so 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 good i love um, how you have to shake it to activate it to turn it into that milky texture it's fantastic and i love that you've done it in glass because yes, that first of all we they have no pva and it's great for the environment and look at this this is super chic Ah, oh, yes, I love this. this is the mask. moon. It's the moon mask. It is. It Isn't is that a moon mask. It's every single night I put that mask on. Oh, you put it on every night. I put it on a few times. I wake up, my skin is incredible after it. It's bouncy and yeah. dewy. It's really a... plump. Yeah. And, re and really kind of glowy, which I yeah. love. Yeah. So, oh, I'm so well glad done, you love that. Thanks. Great packaging. Oh, thank you. I'm very specific with the packaging, as I can <laughs> tell you are too with your products because you can see the care you've taken with 
with um with that with your messaging with your packaging it's oh, all you. very you i love that it's an authentic business yeah. that you started did did you start it with your mom no just me but my mom was using the products and she worked with me for a little time because she got incredible results on her she had rosacea on like right. all around here it yeah. was really bad and the doctor had her on like this steroid cream and she felt really embarrassed to even leave the house Mm -hmm. So I gave her the Noni Glow face oil. Yeah. It completely transformed her skin. And she was like, oh, my God, I want to get involved. Like, how can we, you know, do this together? Do this yeah. together. So she worked with me for a little bit and my dad too and That's my brother. So and my brother's still working with me. But there was a point in time where I had um, my mum, my dad, my brother, my uncle, my aunt, all we were all working together. Which How was so wonderful fun. to have a family business. It was really fun. It was. That is so cool. Yeah. Um, wonderful for all, uh, you know, just to have a project that you can all come together on. And yeah. it's actually been a dream of mine. I've been so um, away from my family in the sense that I, you know, I moved to America when I was 18 and I was on my own kind of world and and now you kind of come i come back and i'm saying you know it'd be really wonderful to have a family business but now i look at my sons yeah as being part of their family business i even was speaking to my son last night my 18 year old they both go to business school wow um, and he's like so mom where are you going how's your ebitda at the moment That's <laughs> hilarious. What, what's the what's the cogs on you yeah. know blah, blah. i was like how do you know all this stuff that's so good. So I'm going to bring you in in the business. That's good. I say the same thing to my Flynn. I was like, because he's so specific with packaging and everything. And when I'm designing the packaging and he's quite an artist, even at mm. 10 years old, he's like, oh, yeah, I like that. And what if you tweak this a little bit like that? And even the products, he like gets involved in the um, in the process of trialing them and testing them and and it's I so use all the products, like the body lotion, the body wash, the body balms on the kids ever right. since they were born, you know. The you put you on the kids' them. line, right? No, just this, I line. just use this on the kids. Mm. Like this little face oil is so good if any of the kids get little dry patches from mm. teething or anything. It completely soothes that. Oh, that's and great to know. Yeah, it's a very, very good way to help their skin in a very gentle way. And Wonderful. good for them because it's all certified organic through EcoCert mm. Cosmos. So. And that is not easy because I, I know how Very hard, hard. That is. Yeah. I know how hard that is. Yeah. I think mean, like I'm fussing with the hair at the moment. Oh, your hair looks amazing. Bit, it's feeling a bit weird because I, I just, it's not often that I do it. So I'm having a bit of a moment. Anyway, oh, sorry, it's, guys. It's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> the hair time. <laughs> it's a girly oh. moment. <laughs> yeah, it's a girly moment. <laughs> Uh, one side of the hair to the other <laughs> but I actually love the way that you color your hair too it's beautiful like it's the little sun it does it yeah she's, yeah she's really good she keeps it very natural I yeah. use uh, Josh Wood in London who is really the ultimate colorist of all time and you guys can follow them him on I think he's at at, just at Josh, Josh Wood. Yeah. And then I use Daphne Evangelista here in um, Miami. And so she just, you know, she keeps it really natural. I have, I'm really lucky. I've got no gray hair. So she oh, uses my you. base. Yeah. And then she just adds, you know, you can see like these little bits that she little. adds just to give texture. Unkissed. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and it. just some depth to it because highlights and low lights is, is really um, where it's at. And I encourage everybody, if you can use your base, your own base, mm -hmm. and start from that rather than doing a single process. Yeah, so I do that. Healthy. This is my base. And I yeah. add I've noticed it's yeah. really, really, and it's so long at the moment. Yeah, my hair is very long right now. It's really long. Let me see. Deep. It's going all the way down here. <laughs> That's a pretty top. What are you wearing? Um, oh, I just had it in my closet. What is it? I don't know. See, look, it's not really, I can't, I can't read it. I can't read it either. No. But anyway, it looks great. <laughs> yeah. It's um, green top for St. Patrick's Day. Good girl. Yeah. I told the boys as well, the little ones. So I was like, mm. come on, put on your greens. Got That's their little fun. green socks on. Very cute. I like Where to get involved. at the moment? Um, we're in LA. So we were in Australia last at the end of last year for three months, which was so lovely. 
right. to be with my family and my grandparents. Thank goodness we had that time together because they both just passed wow. within 20 days of each other. But luckily we had the most amazing magical time together. Um, we have like a farm there and it's really peaceful and we just had time together. Wonderful. And my grandpa was in palliative care from home, but he had good days and bad days. And mm. on his good days, he'd come out and enjoy the sunshine with us. And we'd take him for a little, you know, ride in his little um, wheelchair and, and play his favorite music. Nice for the so children too. It was so lovely. Yeah. My little uh, heart, my two-year-old, had such a deep connection. Such a great name, by the way. Heart. Yeah. It was Evan's grandfather's name um yeah on his dad's side and then miles was his um grandfather great 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 grandfather's name on his mom's side so we've got two family names with the boys so that's wonderful yeah My, uh, are you hoping to go home at all anytime soon um no plans like specifically at the moment because it's mm. really it's hard to travel it's, hard it's to really travel. hard to get in it's hard to get out yeah. and uh you know i know uh, you know, that's, it's been decisions made carefully, but still. It yeah, is it to, is. But I was talking, my family. yeah, I was talking to my mom. Well, we've talked pretty much every other day and I was just saying, hopefully one day they can come one day soon. They can come over here and visit us here. My mm. parents, um, yeah. just to be with the kids because my kids just love having my parents around. It's so yeah. lovely. It's I so bet they spoil them. <laughs> my mom just like loves being a grandma and so does my dad, but my dad's a big kid. So and I'm my looking mom... forward to being a grandparent. Yeah. I'm not, I mean, there's no plans. No, anybody, but <laughs> God, 23 and 18. No, but still I, I, um, I loved being a parent. Parenting oh. for me was the most extraordinary journey and um experience it, it it really sort of brought to focus one of my purposes in life which was yeah. to be a, a loving guide and and mentor really for my kids yeah um and it it's it, it's been so rewarding you yeah. know it's like they say that kids is like the gift that keeps on giving you know every mm -hmm. you you have your child and then it's like every different phase of their life is another gift and mm -hmm. um it's just been so extraordinary. And yeah, I guess the next phase will be being a grandparent. That's amazing. Yeah. And it's so like being a mother and just taking care of your little ones and watching everything that they learn and grow every day. Like even you now, like with them talking to you about business, I mean, it just, it's awesome. And mm. it just like blows your mind. And even with my little ones, some of the things they come up with, um, and the way they see the world to me is just so inspiring and they and they yeah. teach me to be even more in the moment which is something um i think that we can all learn from because life absolutely. gets really busy you know absolutely and you know a lot of people ask me how do you balance everything how do you manage everything being mother and business and looking after yourself and and i i think it's very important that we focus on quality not quantity yeah. So quality time doing and doing whatever we do completely. So not multitasking, really. We, we're so proud of ourselves because we multitask, but really giving quality time, effort and energy to one project yes. for a specific period of time for me has been more valuable, more constructive, more efficient, more fulfilling. Mm -hmm. And um, and I, I, I truly can give better when I'm doing, you know, when I'm focusing on quality over quantity. Yeah. And it's the same with the parenting, you know, quality parenting is extremely important when you're yeah. with your kids, you're with your kids and it doesn't have to be 24 seven, but when you're there, be totally present. And yeah. um, that's been, it's been so rewarding. Well, that's the thing as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And being a working mom, as you would know, there are so many times when sometimes like the guilt will slip in. I'm like, Oh, I'm working. I need to be with my kids or, you mm -hmm. know, and it's, it's really hard to balance that. 
but I do think it's important that they do understand and recognize that work is a part of life. Yes. You know? And also sometimes your kids um, evolve better without you watching <laughs> <In> them, <laughs> you know, without having you all over them. It's those, yeah. those times apart where they really um, learn to be self-sufficient, self-responsible, self-reliable. Yeah. I've just been away for three weeks. My 18 year old who lives, he, you know, was here at home by himself. First of all, I mean, I barely heard from him. <laughs> it was like, <laughs> it's like, hello. You know like, Don't you miss mum? <laughs> but you know, I came back, he's a different boy. You know, he's had to prepare meals for himself, get him up, get him to school, organize. I mean, all a lot of the stuff I do for him, he's actually become a better skilled and more equipped for college by my absence than my presence. Yeah. And so, and I found that all the way through their childhood, yeah. they would always kind of really blossom when I wasn't um, just there yeah. um, doing everything. Yeah. <laughs> so so yeah. for people at home that are listening that suffer from guilt, first of all, no guilt yeah. because, you know, guilt makes you sick. Yeah. Uh, and the second thing is because kids survive and they do really well yeah. when we're not with them all the time. Yeah. It's, um, yeah, my mum was a working mother. And I think that's what instilled in me the work ethic that I have. You know, mm. both my parents were working. And luckily, mm. I had my grandma there. And, you know, she really, she was a stay at home mum and grandmom. And she loved. Mm being with us and she's the one that taught me so much about health and wellness and mm. everything that I know and I am today. So. so you got both from your mom and from your grandmother. It's true, yeah. my mother worked, my mother's still working. Yeah. And she's like, at the back end of 70, she won't tell me how old she really is. Yeah. <laughs> uh, um, I could probably do the math. Yeah. Uh, but she's still working, you know, and she's vibrant and she's, you know, there's no reason for it. She said, when you say we may have lost connection with Elle, but that was such a fun talk and I will be saving it. So I'm very grateful for everyone who was able to watch today. And I'm so grateful for Elle sharing her knowledge and her tips and tricks with us. And that was, um, you know, an awesome chat talking about health. No, it says Elle's unable to join. Well, Elle, if you're watching, thank you so much. And um, thank you to everyone for watching today. I'm so grateful for your time. And I'm going to save this live so everyone can watch it again. And thanks, Elle. I guess I'll see you next time. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys, take care, look after yourself, and I'll see you next time.